Hi, I'm Jess. In this lesson, I want to show you how to add fullness and richness to your playing by adding a fourth note in the right hand. So far, we've learned chords with just three notes in the right hand, which is kind of a basic way to do it. It sounds great and it works well, but to add a little bit more, we're going to add a fourth note. So if I have a C chord, like this, to add a fourth note, I'm going to double the top note which is also called the soprano. So the soprano note is G. I'm going to double that with my thumb. I add my fourth note. You can hear that real thickness. Now, here's my C chord. I'm going to move to A minor. Here's my closest chord. I want to double that top note, which I'm going to put right here. So I'm going to go from here the C chord to A minor. If you notice, I still don't move very much. And then my F chord is right here. And then I'm going to double that top note. Now if I'm going to go to G next, there are no common notes. So I could either go up or I could go down. And going down is what I'm going to do. Just quickly, two reasons. One is I don't want my hand to keep migrating up this way because then I won't ever get back to here. I want to not have my hand keep moving up, up, up the piano. The other thing is my bass is going to go from F to G. So if I go up, everything moves in the same direction, which musically doesn't sound the best. So if I can have them going the opposite direction, that would work better. So here we go. Four notes in the right hand. You can hear that richness or thickness to the sound. You can also do a rocking pattern with that bottom note in the upper three. So if I have the top three and the bottom note. fullness, I can add octaves in the left hand. Try adding that fourth note in the right hand. It gives you lots of options and a fuller, thicker sound.